Hi, so welcome to this channel. My name is Armand Serrano. So kinetic molecular theory explains the behavior of particles and how these particles are moving and this motion are very important in explaining the basis of matter and their interaction with one another. So the kinetic molecular theory establish that gases are moving very fast and they have very less interaction or attraction with one another. So the focus of this uh, kinetic molecular theory is to give a little bit details about solids and liquids attraction or interaction with one another. So this is very important to establish uh, this property since lesson number two has something to do with it. So we have intermolecular forces of attraction and its types. So attraction is very important because without the attraction, there will be no forces that will bind other particles or particles uh, to itself. So we have different types of interaction. So we have London forces. It is considered the weakest type of force. Okay, so example of these are the diatomic atoms. Then we have dipole-dipole interaction. So this is the interaction between uh, polar molecules. So it can be polar to polar of the same kind like water. So water is another or special type of dipole-dipole wherein it exhibits hydrogen bonding. Okay. Then we have polar and ionic, which is ion uh, dipole interaction. So for example, we have sodium chloride and water. Okay. So ion dipole uh, is considered to be the strongest among the types of intermolecular forces of attraction. Okay. Then we have the properties of liquids. Okay. So it was uh, discussed there, the different properties and the effects of intermolecular forces with this. Uh, properties like melting and boiling point okay so it was uh, established in that manner if the intermolecular forces of attraction increases the melting and boiling point also increases okay same true with uh, surface tension okay so it also increases while vapor pressure okay, is inversely proportional. No? So if the type of intermolecular forces uh, increases, okay, the vapor pressure decreases. Okay? So it's inversely proportional. Okay? And we have lesson number four. It's all about the properties of water. Okay. So water is considered to be universal solvent. So we have the different properties of water like uh, cohesion and adhesion. Okay. When we say cohesion, this is uh, the same particle, no? water to water they stick together, OK? 
Okay, that's why we have a uh, network of net network cage of uh, water molecules. Okay, so they bind together. So there is a cohesive uh, force. Then we have adhesion. So we have water and another type of particle. Okay. So this is also observed when you put uh, water in test tube, okay? So the water stick to the wall of the test tube or container, okay? So you will observe a layer, okay? That is uh, concave or that is convex. So you check that uh, video tutorial so that you can see the difference between the two, okay? Then we have the capillary action. It also explains how water, okay, absorb water from the ground and deliver it up to the uh, leaves. Okay, so it defies the gravity or it's against the uh, gravity, okay? Then we have surface tension, okay? Now, space diagram, okay? So what is space diagram? So a space diagram is a graphical representation of the physical states of substance under different conditions of temperature and pressure okay so like the one on top okay so we have two conditions temperature and pressure so it gives the possible combinations of pressure and temperature at which certain physical state or states a substance would be observed. So we have the solid, liquid, and gas phase, okay, at this combination of temperature and pressure. So each substance has its own phase diagram. So you, they are not the same. Like for instance, okay, in this lesson, we are going to establish uh, the base diagram of water and carbon dioxide. So base diagrams displays the state of a substance at various pressures and temperatures and the places where equilibria exists okay, between paces like uh, the one on top, okay? It shows the base uh, diagram, okay, of water, okay? For example, so we have the solid base, the liquid base, and the gaseous base. So it shows here a graphical representation, okay, of the three bases under pressure and temperature. Okay, so we have different points like point A, point B, point C, and point uh, D. Okay, so it also explains uh, here the base diagram, the transition okay, between uh, its changes. Okay, like for example, we have deposition and sublimation vaporization and condensation, melting and freezing point, okay? Then the AB line is the liquid vapor interface. It starts at the triple point A. So this is the point at which all three states are in equilibrium. So meaning to say that the three exists at the same Time. So that is point A to point B, okay? Liquid vapor interface, okay? So that is 
that the, the transition between liquid to gas. It ends at the critical point B above this critical temperature and critical pressure. So the liquid and vapor are indistinguishable from each other. Okay, so the one uh, on top, so it shows point A to point B, where in point B is the critical point. So each point along this line is the boiling point of the substance at that pressure, no? When we say pressure, so that is uh, force over given area. So increasing pressure causes the molecules to be condensed, making the molecular arrangement closer, okay? So the AD line is the interface between liquid and solid. So the melting point at each pressure can be found along this line. So it explains the melting point okay, of a substance at that given pressure. So below A, the substance cannot exist in the liquid state anymore. So along the AC line, the solid and gas phases are in equilibrium. So the sublimation point at which pressure is along this line. Okay. So as temperature increases, the average kinetic energy of the substance increases, causing the spacing between the molecules to increase and eventually change phase, okay? See, all, we all knew that whenever uh, the temperature increase, okay? So there is an additional heat energy or energy, okay? That will cause the motion to increase, okay? So the kinetic energy will increase. So tendency particles will move very fast. So phase diagram of uh, water, okay? So note the high critical temperature and critical pressure, okay? So these are due to the strong van der Waals forces between water molecules, okay? So the type of van der Waals forces of water, we have hydrogen bonding. No? It increases the melting and boiling point of water. That is why you will observe that when you boil water, you need 100 degrees Celsius in order to uh, observe that kind of boiling point. So that is the point at which liquid okay, turns into gas or vapor. So base diagram of water, no, the slope of the solid liquid line is negative. Okay? So this means that as the pressure is increased at a temperature just below the melting point, water goes from a solid to a liquid. Okay, that is why it is uh, negative, okay? The slope of the solid liquid line is negative. Then we are done with this uh, water, okay? So let's have carbon dioxide, no? The base diagram of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide cannot exist in the liquid state at pressures below 5.11 atmospheric pressure, then carbon dioxide sublimes at normal pressures. So, as you notice, okay, uh, carbon dioxide do not really exist in liquid states at this pressure, okay? 
So only then carbon dioxide when sealed and mixed okay, with other substance. So they are uh, dissolved, okay? Like in your favorite soft drinks, okay? Carbon dioxide is uh, dissolved and the atmospheric pressure is um, above 5.11, okay? So the low critical temperature and critical pressure for carbon dioxide make super critical carbon dioxide a good solvent for extracting non-polar substances such as caffeine so intermolecular forces and impact on ideal behavior no presence of intermolecular forces among gas particles including noble gases leads to deviations from ideal behavior so therefore at sufficiently low temperatures or sufficiently high pressures, gases can condense. So I hope you understand the lesson for today. And if you have a question, okay, just leave it in the comment section below. Okay? And if you haven't subscribe to this channel so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified with the latest and new video so goodbye